reporting to you live from my living room where I now have AC but I turned it off because I didn't want to flex on you hot bitches that don't have AC because I was one of you and um, I know it's probably not the best idea to kick you while you're down You know, since we're here, what else do we want to talk about? Uh, we're coming up on the 100th Say What Sunday episode. Does that mean it'll be the last one? Who knows? More to come. Does that mean we should do something special? I don't know. Probably. Let me know in the comments. What, you, what do you want? Like, what is something that will make you happy on the 100th episode? Uh, it's morning time, which explains why my face hasn't thawed out yet. Uh, I'm coming at you in the a.m. hours, but I'm determined to get this day with Sunday out because my schedule has been kind of all over the place lately. Like, I wasn't even here last week. I was somewhere else, and so I'm going to be somewhere else and do this day with Sunday at the same time. So, like, I get these videos out when I can. This week, we're really going to try and get it out. So, but let's go ahead and sing the song. One, two, three. Hey, ooh, say what, say what, say what. You know that I like it, baby, yeah. Dubstep. First thing, Tracy Ellis Ross is launching her own hair care line, which makes total sense to me. I don't know why she faced so much um, hesitation or resistance in the past when she tried to launch this line. I guess they tried to say that she didn't have enough clout or that uh, she had to like be with a professional in order to have this business thrive. Me and the rest of Shea Butter Twitter said, fuck that, we're here to give you our money. I'm gonna try it out. I'm not confident that's gonna work for my hair just because nothing works for my hair. The 4C community, if y'all wanna get together and give me some best practices. I, there are days where I come home and I look in the mirror and I don't realize that the whole day I look like Leslie Jones. That is just my life. But I'm still gonna try it. Nicki Minaj retired, but like fake retired, but didn't. And said it was a joke, kind of, sort of. She posted a tweet the other day, uh, basically hinting at the idea that she was retiring. People reacted to it, and so she came back out and said, "Nah, I was just playing." Um, but this should this should have been a conversation that I said for quit radio. And so that's exactly what she's going to do. I don't know if that episode has come out yet, but you know what? The day that Nikki decides to um, unzip that ass and set it on a shelf and retire, I can't say that I'll be mad. I haven't really been team young money since I wore vests casually and was still going to homecomings. There's no polite way to say that I don't care. I can also see her doing this though to like, sometimes when you deliver bad news to someone, you want that reaction because you want to feel, you want to know that your absence from this person's life it means something, it's gonna make them hurt, it's gonna make them cry. Like you want to know that, you want that kind of validation. So I can also see Nicki Minaj doing, tweeting this out just to see niggas cry and react and so that she can feel better about herself so that she can see her, like a representation of her impact. I can also see that too, but if this isn't the case, regardless of what it is, regardless of the motivation, I don't care. Ariana Grande is suing Forever 21 for $10 million for using her likeness. I guess um, they had a deal and the deal wasn't good enough because she wasn't getting enough money and so the deal fell through but then Forever 21 went forward and used a model that looked very similar to Ariana Grande, used um, the, the same art direction that you know her album Seven Rings had going on and Ariana was like, huh, uncanny. And so a lawsuit is what happened. Forever 21 doesn't have 10 million dollars. I just feel confident when I say that. I mean, you could buy a whole outfit for Forever 21 for six dollars, so I don't know what kind of money that they got, especially with, um, what is it, Fashion Nova, the pretty little things taking over all of Instagram. Um, I haven't seen or heard of anyone shopping at Forever 21 since maybe I was 21 and that was seven years ago. Ariana get your money because Forever 21 has been stealing designs and stealing fashions from people since the beginning. Truth be told, an Ariana Forever 21 mashup wouldn't make sense to me anyway. Um, I don't know how much that would have helped anyway. I mean, I guess it makes sense because Ariana Grande is kind of like she doesn't have the Fashion Nova aesthetic 
uh, body. She has a very like back to school body. I don't know what that means. Maybe like if it was a partnership with like Justice or Limited 2 or American Girl. It could have been a better match is what I'm saying. I'm not even gonna get real in deep into this but some people sent me this and first of all let me not get an attitude it's too early but so many of y'all sent me this. Celia Banks just popping off on people again. I said this before I'll say it again. I can't stand for you, Azealia. I think your music is great. But I believe that you are just wrong a lot of the time. I, you, I believe that you are bitter. I just know that Azealia Banks always comes for whoever is winning, whoever is succeeding, and I don't know why she's so threatened by other people's budding careers, especially when she has all the talent herself and all she has to do is shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? But in the wise words of 3, 3LW, haters are gonna hate. And that's exactly what Azealia Banks is doing. She's just a hater. Like, there's nothing else I can say. Azealia Banks is a straight up hater. She don't like anybody that's winning. She don't like anybody that's succeeding. She don't like, especially if you are a female rapper, especially if you are a black female rapper, which is why she came for Lizzo. Laughing my ass off, the fact that the public and the media has been keeping this fat girl joke going for so long is honestly peak boredom. The song is not good, nor is the dumpy fat girl spectacle live sets she does. Uh, saddest bit is that the girl is legit talented and truly only being allowed to shine so long as she allows herself to be this millennial mammy of sorts. What are you talking about? I don't get the vibe that, that Lizzo is being ingenuine. Lizzo is a successful female artist um, who can rap her ass off, who's had great collaborations, who is climbing the charts, who is in every, who, whose name is in everybody's mouth. Like Lizzo is at the top of her career right now and she could even go further if she wants to. And so to say to belittle Lizzo like this, down to calling this girl an ongoing fat girl joke and saying that she's a spectacle and like all this other shit, it's just, it's, it just sounds like you're mad that people don't like you when you're being yourself. <laughs> like that's what it just sounds like. And there's nothing I can say about that. Cause Zilla, this is all your fault. You're a fucking hater. Like you hate everybody. You hate everybody. I didn't know it was possible to hate everybody. And the thing is that like, you said the girl's talented and then backed it up with a million different insults that had nothing to do with her with her actual work. So I can't respect you, Zillia. I can't deny the fact that you make great music. Um, but I just don't respect you. And thank you to every single one of you that also that sends me any type of Azealia Banks news or any updates. Appreciate you. But now y'all know where I stand, so you don't have to do it every time. I already know the pattern that that we get from Azealia Banks, which is somebody's popping and does literally anything, and Azealia Banks got a whole ass essay on Instagram uh, of shit to say about it. So. But that is a Say What Sunday. Let me know what y'all want to do for 100, the 100th episode. This is the most consistent thing I think I've ever had in my life. But uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Comment down below, like the video, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye, girl.